We covered subjects such as the United States government, uh, the Soviets, uh, Garry Kasparov, FIDE, the United States Chess Federation, his, um, his uh, tax status, uh, his unhappiness with the U.S. government judicial system, Jewish people, Bruce Lee, martial arts movies, Seattle, uh, Motown records. So we covered a lot of ground. And for me, of course, the important war ones were those subjects that he has spoken about very harshly. And Bobby said, the Russian players cheat. They, the two players, Garry Kasparov and Anatoly Karpov, had prepared every move of every game of every match. It was all a script. This was a very curious, curious um, issue. What Bobby's angst is. Is he a Nazi? Is he uh, a bigot? Simply a racist? Um, and how did that view that he had evolve? And I learned a lot. Really annoyed Bobby because he felt that he was being taken advantage of in these circumstances. And he began to carefully remember all of these incidences where he felt that he had been wronged. This culminated in the great match between Sammy Ryshevsky, who was a giant of US chess, and Bobby Fischer in their match. It was organized by Pieter Gorski in Los Angeles, a Jewish man, a famous cellist. Bobby said, no, that I refuse to play in the morning. I want to play during the scheduled time. And Mr. Piatagorsi said, look, I'm paying for this match to take place. You'll play when I want you to play, and you play now. He said, look, I signed an agreement that I'm going to play on this time, this date, and that's what I'm going to do. No, you'll be forfeited. And Bobby was forfeited, and although the match was tied, Ryshevsky was declared the winner. Well, for Bobby, this was a terrible blow. In all of the articles that followed, uh, nobody blamed Mr. Piatagorsky. Bobby became the bad boy.